We're going to take a look now at gross pay and net pay and deductions when it comes to having a job. So gross pay is the amount of money you would make at your job before any deductions are taken off. So let's just say you had a job at a grocery store and let's say you were working there for $13 an hour um, and you worked there for 10 hours then 13 times 10 would be $130. That would be your gross pay. That would be the amount of money, in theory, that you made. However, there's a bunch of deductions that will come off of that, that paycheck. And it's because the government needs money to pay for certain programs and infrastructure and whatnot. And so, some of the money that you make gets taken off and given to the government. And so what are some of those deductions? So one of the deductions is the Canada Pension Plan, or CPP. So this doesn't happen until you are 18 years or older. Um, but if you are 18 years or older, a percentage of your gross pay is taken off to pay for a pension plan, which you will begin to receive when you are between the ages of 60 and 70. So this is a, a, a social plan um, so that when you retire, then you will, will get some of that money back that you've contributed to the Canada Pension Plan. So it's like a, it's like a retirement plan. Employment insurance, or EI, um, what happens here is you have a percentage taken off your gross pay to allow workers to continue to receive some income should you need to find a job. So let's just say you uh, were laid off or fired from your job and you need to find another one and that sometimes takes a bit of time so it's possible that you might be able to continue to receive a, a per percentage of your pay um, through the employment insurance uh, until you can find yourself a, another job. So that's another deduction that comes off of everybody's paycheck. And then there's income tax. So that in, what income tax is, is a percentage of your gross pay is simply taken off by both the provincial government and the federal government to fund whatever expenses they have. So um, the province of BC, they take a certain percentage of your, your gross pay, and then the federal government, they have a certain percentage of your gross pay and generally the more money you make the higher the percentage of your gross pay that they that they take off so these are some of the more uh, common ones the income tax and the employment insurance and the Canada pension plan um, it's possible that you could have a job that has additional deductions that come off of your of your pay and we'll we'll look at that in a bit when we look at some of the examples, but those are the main three deductions that come off of your, your gross pay. So your net pay then is actually the amount of money you have left after all the deductions. So it's the amount of money that you actually get to spend yourself. So to figure out the net pay is not hard, you just start with your gross pay, whatever that is, and subtract all your deductions and you're left with your, your net pay. So here's a sample pay stub um, for a particular person in a particular business. Um, and you can see this is, this is what one would look like. So this person here is getting paid $12.65 an hour. Um, that's the current minimum wage. And it has here how many hours they've worked, 57.05 hours. And so then this would be the amount of money that they've, that they've made. And this YTD is year to date. So this is a paycheck probably, um, or pay stub probably for a two week period. Um, looks like this is September 14th, uh, 2018. Um, and this would be their, how much money they've made so far this year. So it, it shows what their, what their pay was. So, uh, so if we go back to, we'll just look at this pay period here. So $721.68 is what they've made. That's their gross pay. Um, and then over here on the side are all of the deductions. So in this period, they 
have taken off $11.98 for the employment insurance. They've taken off $31.43 for income tax. And then this amount here is, uh, I believe, this is a grocery store it came from. So they probably have a, um, you can just take it right off your paycheck. So there's this expenses here, but that would be another deduction. Uh, so they've taken off $60.36. That would be the total of the deductions. And their net pay is $661.32. So if you take the gross pay and you subtract all these deductions of $60.36, then here is your, is your net pay. So this is a fairly simple um, uh, pay stub. Uh, we've got somebody who's on an hourly rate, working a certain number of hours. Um, there's not a lot of deductions here, really just the EI and the income tax and a little miscellaneous expenses that they, they spent in the store. Um, so something that a, a high school student might, might typically have if they're, if they're working. Let's look at uh, another pay stub that's a little bit more complicated. So here's one that's a little bit more complicated. So this is a, a teacher's uh, pay stub. Um, so on the left is the earnings. Um, so there's a salary pay for a teacher. So there's, there's, they've worked it out. It's a 10 month pay that teachers get paid. They don't get paid in the summer. So there's every two weeks get paid for, so here's the current, that would be the part of the gross income. There's a salary indemnity plan, um, extra piece. And there's a department head, you know, extra little bit extra money for if you're a department head. So here's the earnings total, and there's a there's a year to date here as well. So this would be for two weeks, and then here is over here is the deduction. So there's the there's the income tax for this pay period. There's the Canada Pension Plan. There's the EI, but then here's some of the other deductions that that there might be. So there's there's an additional teacher's pension plan. You can see there's medical that comes off, extended health comes off. There's dental that could come off. There's a not even too sure what that is. Some insurance stuff that's in here. Um, there's a bunch of union dues. Uh, looks like there's a few different union dues things in here. So there's a total deduction here of 1,821.94. So these are just some of the other deductions that you could have um, if you get into a profession. Um, and so then I guess, but it's still the same way. So here's here's the gross pay, here's the net pay. Sorry, here's the deductions, and so up top here would be the the net pay, the pay that actually uh, comes at, to you to, that you can use. And then over here, there's there's just some employer paid benefits, um, which doesn't affect the gross pay or the net pay, but it's just some information on what the employer is paying. So that might be more of what a professional. Um, pay stub would look like um, with a, a few more deductions than typically what um, a high school student might might have. Finally, what I wanted to show you uh, was a T4 slip. So this T4 slip is um, what the uh, employer would send you uh, come income tax time. And it basically is a summary of what you made uh, for the entire year. So uh, this would be for the year 2017. It has the employer's name here and the address down here. And then box 14 of the slip is your employment income. So this would be, this would be like your, your gross pay here, 1,440. And then some of these boxes show some of the the deduction. So the, um, the income tax deducted for this particular individual was $211.28. Um, box 16 often has something in it um, because it's the uh, employee's uh, Canada pension plan, the CPP contributions. So this person must be less than 18 because there's nothing showing here. And then down here is the uh, EI premium, so the typical deductions. So if we, if we had this slip and we wanted to figure out what their net pay was, we could take their gross pay here and subtract the EI deduction and, I'm sorry, subtract the income tax deduction and subtract the EI deduction 
and this number minus these two numbers would be the, the net pay. So yeah, this is a slip you would get at in, for income tax purposes when you have to file your tax return. Um, just basically what this does is it just double checks it, that your employer has taken off the correct amount of, of income tax um, and EI premiums. Um, and if they haven't taken off enough, then you might have to pay some more at income tax time, or if they've taken off too much, then you might get a check back from the government um, for the amount that you paid over what you should have. So hope that uh, helps clarify um, gross pay and net pay and, and deductions with uh, jobs and pay stubs.